Well, you know, that changes everything. Three number one singles in 18 months. And then once again, then you start to get uh, a lot of pressure from record companies and management and, you know, your whole, the whole monster gets bigger. You know, you got uh, more and more people that you're responsible for um, working for you. And okay, now everything you do has got to be a number one single, you know, and you know, that's just not the way, it, you don't want to ever think like that. You know, we never, we never intend, I didn't even think we built this city would even be a single, let alone a number one single. So, but then all of a sudden you start thinking, oh God, we've got to create a number one single now. And of course you don't. <laughs> but, so we started being controlled by the process. Um, we started um, feeling a lot of pressure from the process. Uh, we started after nothing's gonna stop us now. All they wanted was romantic duets from Grace and me. And, and that's not what either one of us really wanted to do. That's not how we saw our, you know, we didn't see ourselves as some kind of rock and roll Donnie and Marie or something, you know. We, we each had our own thing. And uh, she wanted to do her songs one way, I wanted to do my songs another way. We would sing some harmonies together, maybe a duet here or there, but not that whole, oh, oh gee, I love you, baby, and I can't live without you. Oh, I love you too, honey. you know. And that's what they wanted after nothing's going to stop us. And we said, we can't do that. And, um, and then about a year after that, Grace Slick, as she has, always puts things in her own inimitable way, just decided that she was tired of being Grace Slick. So she left the band. And then um, we, you know, we, we decided we were going to continue on and we made this album that was my all-time favorite Starship album called Love Among the Cannibals that I thought uh, really touched a lot of cool musical bases, I thought, and really was a really true reflection of all the musical elements that were going on in the band. But I guess, at least in part, because of the departure of Grace Slick, it just uh, it didn't happen. So that was a real disappointment, that one. So that was kind of the end of it then. Mm -hmm.